So there are a couple more of the basic widgets that I would like to show. Um, I can add message fields. And I can also display um, my strings instead of using the numeric fields to display numbers like I did before. So that's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to use this numeric field to display a string instead of a number. So first I need to link my string tag by clicking the plus sign by value and selecting my string and changing it to read write. So now whenever I click on this field, um, I'll be able to edit my string. However, I would like to make it so that I can enter numbers. So if I find the keypad field here, or sorry, make it so I can enter letters, I want to change the keypad type to alphabet which will give me an alphanumeric keypad. So now I can enter letters. And I want to change the number format to none. Um, doing this will allow me to enter any character instead of just numbers. The default value of a string, or whenever we don't have any value being sent in the, into that string, is null. So this will actually be blank. It will be nothing. So I'm just going to show a frame so that I can actually find this string. Um, if you are showing a string but you don't have a frame or anything to indicate where it is, it could be hard to find and your users might never be able to actually know it's there. So I know that my string is within this frame. I can click on it. Uh, now I have my keyboard showing up and I can enter the value of a string. So the field that I put Beneath it, message field is a little bit different in that it lets us, instead of actually typing in text, it's going to let us define a couple um, set items of text and change which one is being displayed. So I can change um, what those items of text are by clicking in messages, clicking the plus sign, and clicking add remove message. So I have a, a list pretty similar to how the colors are set up just of my messages. So I'd like this to say off when the value is a zero and on when the value is a one. Um, I don't need the other fields, so I can delete them if I want to just by changing the range from zero to two. Um, or I can uncheck this continuous index field and add additional fields of, of numbers that aren't necessarily in sequential order. Um, if that's something that you need to do, or you can delete them by clicking on it and clicking the minus. So the next thing I need to do to get this set up is just click uh, the plus sign by value and linking my tag um, for the tag value. So it will be triggering on that tag one, same as um, all these other items. So when I simulate that, we will see it change between off and on. One more topic, which is using meters and sliders. So I will show that real quick. Um, meters are similar to a graph, so we can use it to visualize our data. I'm just going to take this vertical graph and um, put it next to one of my um, numeric tags here. And I will also use a slider to change that data. So a graph or a meter is a good way to visualize your data versus a slider, which is a good way to change your data. So I want to decide which data point that I'm actually going to be visualizing and changing. And to do that, I need to link something to the value of the bar graph, um, tag four. And it is necessary to set a minimum and maximum. Zero to 10 is fine. Um, same thing for my slider, link tag four. Um, maximum value, I'll make 10 as well. And I want to also set that maximum value to my input field here. So by default, my min and max were just two to the 31st power um, because that's how big integers can be in JMobile. But I can change that to uh, zero and 10, get something a little bit more useful. 
and I can go ahead and simulate this. And I'll see that as I drag this, um, my graph goes up and down. I can enter a new number in here, and we'll see everything move up and down as well. So there are a couple other um, sliders, knobs, meters that I could have used. Um, but mostly they all do the same thing. Um, they're just different visualizations. It's possible to change the color of this as well, um, just like changing the color of anything else. So that was the last item for Module 2.